Hi, Super Spruce here, back with another Distance Incremental video, episode 38. And, well, you can see somehow I'm already up to 5 million, probably because I just got, yep, this upgrade right here. Quantum Foam boosts Skyrim gain by about 780 times. So now I'm up to, uh, let's see, E19 Skyrim. So, yeah, this means I'm going to blow past this last milestone here which is entropy upgrades cost less based on your total multiversal energy divided by about 1.53 so i'm gonna get i can get one more of each of the quilt upgrades and now let's see what i can what i can do i'm not i don't think i'm really close to the next no i am i am very close to the next upgrades here so i can just i can just get a few more of these resets and i can quickly get into several million of the multiversal energy so let's see and, and this keeps getting cheaper every time so that's what that's what i'm going to keep doing just grind a little bit i can probably get about five million multiversal energy that's probably the most optimal unless it won't respond to my clicking because I'll, yep that happens and i'm still kind of far away from this no i'm not far away I c I'm just going to get this next upgrade here, which is Entropy Upgrades bo um, Bot Boost Pion and Spinor Gain. So it's like getting more Skymrions. The next next upgrade, though, is 7E5, or 729,000. So I'm not, not quite there yet. But I can keep getting more Multiversal Energy, more Quilt Upgrades. Here is three more Quilt Upgrades. This will help i probably want to just keep getting more multiversal energy so i can just keep lowering the cost by just a little bit more every time and there's still um a couple of achievements here i can probably get something like this it's only five percent more multiversal energy but it might be useful to get so i could i'm, I'm actually gonna do this um get this and then go into multiverse Three, I need to not choose Ascension, so I'm going to choose Gerdivs, if I can choose, that is. I'll choose the Pantheon, because I can't, I can't choose that, or I can't choose Derivatives, and I'm not quite there yet at this point, so I chose the wrong choice, um, that's okay, I can go back into Multiverse 3, I guess I kind of just have to go into Multiverse Prime, and then go back into Multiverse 3, and then, and then I choose, if I choose derivatives, I think that gets me, I'm almost there. It, I think derivatives is the right choice. If I just, maybe I wait, I don't know. I don't have any entropy probably because of the, of the upgrade. Maybe, is there anything I can do? I can't get any more dark expanders. I can't really do anything like this. Maybe I just, maybe this isn't the right choice. Or I'm just not quite there yet. I need more... Well, what else is there? More quilt upgrades? Because I've, I've maxed out the milestones. I... I guess I, I guess there's quilt upgrades. Because that's... Probably what I can do. Maybe I can do... Choose the first quilt upgrade. That isn't the best one. I just need more quilt upgrades. That is okay. Let's just go back into Multiverse Prime. It's not going too, too slow anyway. Like, I can gain millions of multiversal energy easily and i can even gain this upgrade without too much trouble it's just getting these last two upgrades that i really want to get because that's like one of the only things i can actually get at this point i'm just going to keep getting quilt upgrades as i progress here um i can get the last i can get the last one of the quilt upgrades at this cost but then it's going to cost a lot more to get quill upgrades. So maybe the other achievements with the reward are E9 Multiversal Energy in one reset, which seems kind of impossible, and 1,000 Multiverses, which I'm up to like 543, but that's not anywhere close to 1,000. So what do I do? Maybe, maybe I gain, I can gain 10 million here. Maybe I just need to go back into the challenge i'm not sure because i, I mean 
I could try that, but I barely gain any quilt upgrades. So I'm just going to keep gaining more multiversal energy. And we do some off-camera grinding. So, yeah, see in a bit. Okay, I'm back after a little bit. I seem to be getting a little boost here at about 22 million multiversal energy. I still can't get these two upgrades. I'm getting a lot closer to them, but I'm still not quite there yet. If I wait a little longer, I can actually gain even more multiversal energy, but still not really enough for anything because, well, it's... The only thing I can do with it is get more total multiversal energy, which will lower the cost of the those two upgrades, and then also the quilt things. And I think the quilt three is the best quilt. I'm not sure, but I'm going to try to go for achievements this time. So I'm going to go back for the um, the E eight E eight universes in multiverse three. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to unlock derivatives. Derivatives. Why can't I unlock you? Um, I should enter Multiverse Prime and go back to Multiverse 3. I don't know. Th this game is buggy. Can I please unlock derivatives? I can't unlock derivatives. I just gotta... I, I gotta try again. Oh my god. This is actually annoying. This is, this is definitely not intentional. Okay, there we go. Derivatives. Can I make it now? And somehow the answer is still no, and I'm barely any farther than last time. So how about instead I'm going to go for a different achievement, which is Multiverse 1. And basically, okay, I just got it. <laughs> I just need to get 1337 ranks in Multiverse 1 without unlocking theories, Hadronic Challenge, Foam, or Sky Rounds. That's, yeah, very easy. And then the last one is reach EE7 universes in Multiverse 5 in Hadronic Challenge with a projected score of at least 15. So... I'm going to go into Multiverse 5, and I need to go into a Hadronic Challenge here. I need to make it at least E15, so maybe make the goal as high as I can, and then maybe try to nerf some of this stuff, because um, I, just need at least, I just need 15. Maybe get this down to a few le lower levels, so everything's down to just level 4. I can, I can still nerf a few things here. I'm going to get all the challenges down to like level 3, or at least as much as I can do here. And then start the Hadronic Challenge. I'm very close, actually. 89%. So that probably means if I just tweak a few things, I can. I will definitely be able to do it. I'm still over 15 here. It's 89%. So maybe... What if... Maybe I should, like, go elementary sectors... Maybe I can, I can do this and then nerf the challenges, because these challenges are kind of brutal. Um, I can go to zero in a bunch of the challenges. Let's see if this is possible. Still eighty nine percent. What is going on? How about this? I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna try two levels in different challenges. This gets me to ninety two. What about this challenge? Ninety one. What if I? get this to zero what if i just do one challenge that's like level three or what if i do drigan six that so i could do that um i don't want that though because that's not 15. if i just do one more there we go i i got the achievement so now there's just three achievements left and they all give rewards and i can't do any of them so let's let's enter multiverse prime maybe the key is getting more hadronic challenge um, I don't know why these are grayed out. Um, okay, well, I don't know why they're grayed out, but I, I can enter the challenge. I think I was doing like something like this, and I basically want every nerf I can do at this point. This gets me to 26.329. This is, this is what I had before, so what if I do one higher? Nope, one higher is impossible. So... What about something like this? That's also possible. So it's just very, very particular about what I need to do here. So now I actually got enough entropy to get the second to last upgrade. Super scale derivative boost. Start scaling starts two later. The cost is this much entropy. It's always in flux. So 
This means if I go to my derivative boost, maybe I have even more. Yeah, I have a tenth dimension. This is kind of crazy. And did I just get the last word? Yes, I did. Base pion spiner gain is raised to the 1.5th power. And this is enough to get E9 multiversal energy in one run. So there, there we go. This is going to give me, well, it's not only going to give me a lot of quilts, but also the achievement, the reward is that entropy upgrades are an additional 5% cheaper. So now it shouldn't be a problem at all to get the the rest of the the red the rest of the upgrades that's what i was trying to say and i can i can keep gaining almost a billion multiversal energy each go which means i can gain i can gain a whole bunch of quilts which i don't think they're the most powerful thing ever but i mean at least they exist and they do something and maybe with that i'll be able to get achievement 193 because that that one is evading me i'm also getting Pretty close to 1,000 multiverses. I'm not quite there yet. I'm at 922. I think if I just wait a little bit, I'll get to 1,000 multiverses. Because I seem to be getting about one multiverse every two seconds. However, I'm just not quite getting there. It's now down to about one every like seven or eight seconds. So maybe I should just keep gaining more multiversal energy. Because I can still gain a decent amount of quilts. Like, I was just able to get three upgrades there, and I can gain, like, 600 million very easily. So that's what, that's what I'm going to go for. Just get a few more of these so I can get just a few more of the quilt upgrades, and then maybe go for go for a thousand multiverses. I can now get 800 million um, multiversal energy very quickly. So I, I can even get a billion pretty quickly. Let's, let's see what the most optimal point is. It seems like probably about 900 million, actually. That's, that's where it starts slowing down just a little bit. So maybe now it's easier. Well, the thing is, multiversal energy is directly based on the amount of multiverses I'm getting. But you can see, with these quilt upgrades, I'm now gaining um, more multiverses per second than before at like the same amount. So I'm already back up to 950. And my can I get another quilt? Yes, I can get one more quilt. Maybe I'll get I don't know. I don't know what the best one is. I've tried to find what the best one is and I still don't know. And actually based on this, I'm going to get just a few more quilt upgrades and then I will finally go for 1000 multiverses. And this will be well not the final achievement because of how hard getting the e the eight e no, e eight e eight universes in the multiverse three while I don't pick the ascension path is so here is I can find the quilt upgrades there is the last one there so now let's see if I can make it to one thousand multiverses it may take a while but I think I'll be able to make it. And, yeah, 950, 954, 958, 960. I'm going to get a new record soon. Come on. There's a bit of, bit of a slower spot. You can do it. 966, 967, 968, 32 left. 969, nice. Oop, 973, 974, 975, 25 left. 976. 977, come on, you can do it. You can reach 1000. 978, 979, 989. It just, there's a big boost there. I'm not really sure where it came from. Maybe derivative boost, maybe quantum foam. I don't know. Maybe maybe one of the pion slash spinal upgrades. 997, 997.5, 998, 998.5, 999. 9994999999 and there it is 1000 multiverses finally so this means i can unlock new hadronic challenge selectors and you can ex extend the hadronic challenge goal so basically now there's multiversal selectors i'm not really sure if i do this i have to I have to do another multiverse reset but maybe i could do something like another zero and 
Well, that's that didn't do anything. Maybe it's because maybe they can do this. It's only 37% complete. So actually, this isn't really the best ever. Like even like a 2e7. This well, I can do it, but well, it's not giving me any more hydronic score. I can do this. Maybe I should. Maybe I shouldn't just. I should just go as high as I can. Well, okay. I can't reach that. What about four? Is that enough? Nope, it's not. I think I saw like three seven before. So what about that? Yeah, I can do that. So it's twenty seven point one four two, and I can gain um three billion multiversal energy. And now it is time to get the final achievement that is eluding me: conqueror of the lands. So I need to go. Of course, into Multiverse 3. And actually, please work this time. Okay, it works. And there it is. Final achievement. I have beaten Distance Incremental. I'm just going to go into Multiverse Prime one last time to see what kind of numbers I have. So, of course, 1,000 multiverses. Um, velocity. Well, actually, we're going to do that when I get to the derivative stuff. I can get the biggest number here is well actually it's probably distance because I'm guess, guessing this is 1000 multiverses is actually 1 e trillion meters or e e 12 so there's that then I can get e 460 billion rockets and a total of that's like what is that like 700 710 I think that's yeah I think that's like 7 11 or 712 rocket fuel automation i can do auto multiverse runs now so that's pretty cool um uh, but that's about all i can do i mean there isn't really there's also the the robots that <laughs> also exist and no the, i mean i can do this but there's nothing else to do in this game i've been the game so i've reached E eighty billion time cubes, um, E fifty one billion cadavers, um, and then pathogens. It's not as much. It's E eight hundred seventy thousand dark cores. I can get four hundred thirty one of them with looks like E one point two five million of the dark matter, dark energy, dark fluid. I can get. 111 endorsements from infinity um i can get about e 1.6 million knowledge e like what is this no this is what even is this e 732,000 ascension power e 326 no that, that's just an, an effect i can get 50 of all of these boosts um these only last 10 seconds but they ought to redo Stadium, there isn't really much to talk about here. Only 11 angels, 11 demons, and 7 phantoms with E30,000 heavenly chips and demonic souls and E24,000 haunting energy and about 92,500 purge power. So it's actually not as powerful as you might think. I could start a purge run just for fun. Um, well, actually, it doesn't do anything, so... Yeah, that's it. Um, I can get, you know, the 10th derivative here. So, 1,000 multiverses, 966 multiverses per second, 917, 376, 326, 276, 226, 177, 127, and 77, and 27.6. Going to elementary, we can get E784 elementary particles with E27,600 quarks and... I mean, I could change my quark type, but I don't think it's really doing anything. Um, it, I, I don't think, I don't think changing my quarks actually does anything at this point. And then there's E sixty five thousand leptons. Um, for the of bosons, I have E seven eighty four of them. About E five hundred four Higgs bosons. E three ninety three scalar bosons. E E791 gauge bosons with E1720 gauge force, E19,000 photons, E31,000 
gluons. Um, E20, 1,000 gravitons. 147 graviton boosts. E30, 1,000 W bosons. E39,000 Z bosons. And then, what else? Theories. 41 theory verse depth. Um, E33,000 squarks. E32,000 sleptons. E almost E30,000 neutralinos. E22,400 charged genos. Um, the theory tree. Um, I can't afford some of these upgrades. That's just, that's okay. I don't even know how. I have E19 theory points. And. Of course, I have a primary string with a length of E17,400 universes, so probably like E17,500 <laughs> meters, and you can just see all this, I'm not going to repeat all this. E3,178 universes of entangled strings, E221 prions, that would be a lot in the impulses plus, actually maybe not, I don't even know. 477 theoretical boosters. E30,000 accelerons, and that's all it for that. E2063 in flatons, um, and then hydronic challenge 27.142 is the score to beat if you want to beat me in hydronic challenge. I mean, I could probably, you know, well, actually, I'm not gonna do this yet. Um, then there's um, quantum foam, which I have E4,785 of, and E560 protoversial foam, 840,000 entropy, 97 omega particles, and E21 skymrions, E172 and 173 pions and spinors, and then of course, multiversal energy. So I'm going to do one more reset, and this is to do the multiversal selectors. What if I do this? I, because this gives me a lot of hydronic score, and I'm going to lower this a lot. Actually, no, I don't want to lower it too much. Maybe that. Yeah, start hydronic challenge. Is this... I can't even do that. Yeah, that that, that wasn't going to do anything. Maybe, maybe I should... Maybe I'm going to lower some of these challenges, because the challenges are difficult. Um, start hydronic challenge? No, I can't do that. Maybe I shouldn't be disabling all my quilts. Um, I'm not even sure. Trapped in every multiverse? I can do that? Okay, okay. Um, what if I... What if I disable a single quilt? Can I do that? I can't disable the first quilt. That's crucial. I can't disable the second quilt. Just fine. Okay. Um, can I disable the second and third quilt? Yes, I can. So the first quilt is... Seems like by far the best... Um, I can still do this, so 45.5 Hadronic score. I don't want to trap myself in the Purge, because that seems very powerful. I can still do, do this. Let's do this. Yes, I can still get it as far as this. What if I do 5, level 5 here? I can still do that. Level 6? Yes, I can still do that. Um, okay, I can't put myself in level 6 a turn Level, level two. Like, can I do level two eternity? No, I can't. So I think level one is still what I need to go for. Um, nope, not even level one is possible. So that's interesting. Yeah, time speed does nothing. Apparently, that's a very powerful nerf. Can I do six of this? No, I can't. Um, can I do one of this? Yes, I can. Can I do two of this? No, I can't. So now. Let's just see how far I can go with this in the main selectors. What if I do 1E, e, 1E, e, 9? I'm, I'm not sure I'm going to get there yet. I'm not going to get there. Um, can I do 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0? That's 1E, e, 1E, e, 7. I can't even do that, but I can get 79% of the way there. So 7, 9, and then I saw 2, 2. So let's go... 56.296, and if I even do just a slight bit higher, I won't be able to make it. So, I think, so this is my final hydronic score. I can't get any higher than 56.296. If you can beat my hydronic score, congratulations. You get, you, you don't really get any real reward, you just get pride of beating me.
in Hadronic Challenge. So, yeah. Hope you enjoyed this entire series. And, like, it's kind of sad. This is the... This is... One of, one of the longer series on my channel. And also one of the more popular ones. So, yeah. Hope you enjoyed Distance Incremental. Maybe I'll do something like it later. And peace out. Thank you.